Okay, so we've played some Rio using the automation in the precast tool. So again, if we reinforce what we've got in the configuration area here, we use the fabric two layers panel option, which gave us the SL42 mesh on both faces. And we use one of the corner configurations or the perimeter bar configurations to give us the perimeter bars. If we zoom in here, you can actually see, if I use the tab key here, so you can see there's the perimeter bar or there's the mesh, all right? So let's have a look at that in plan. So if we go to the top of footing and we go and create a section, pick two points, you can see I can increase and decrease the size and flip the section. I can right click and go to the view. We can change the scale. And this is important because later on we might drag this view onto a drawing as a section. You can see on the outside we have the SL42 mesh and then we have the perimeter bars on the top. And if we go to the bottom of the panel, you can see we've got the same perimeter bars because obviously the perimeter bars are all the way around the outside. And they've all been placed around the cover of the actual panel. So let's say, for example, if we zoom out here and we want to place um, an extra bar or three bars on in this wall. Okay, so let's go to our north view. Now it's very important here that when we go to place this reinforcing, we choose the rebar. Um, we choose, let's say, the near side face and we choose parallel to the cover. Okay, so we've chosen this here. Um, we come in and there we go. So we pick the parallel to the work plane, we say near cover reference, which then allows me to pick a bar, okay? If we then switch to the far side and pick, and then this time I'm gonna change and make it fixed, and make it three bars and pick again, okay? Now at the moment, you'll notice that I get three bars for the length of my panel. So again, we come in and create a section, pick, change the length or the size of our section, go to the view, okay, and you'll see, once we change the scale, minus the 20, the first bar we picked was on the near side, and it's actually connected, it's connected to the face of that um, panel's cover, okay, so for example, if I pick this rebar, you see the green line, it's connected to the cover, which comes from the panel, the next one was the far side, and the next one was three. And the three one is connected to both covers on both sides, okay? Now, important to note is that when you're in your particular view and you're placing your reinforcing, you make sure your view is set correctly based on the panels themselves. So for example, in my 3D view, you can see that my part visibility is set to show parts not show original or show both, okay? So if you remember, we had a wall. We split the wall into assemblies or parts, um, and you can show both uh, the parts, the original wall or both, right? Now it's important to understand that when I come into my section two, you can see this view is set to show original. That means if I come in here and choose to place a, a bar at you know any particular location here okay so in this case i'm going perpendicular to the cover and i pick okay because i picked this um, wall here being the wall when i come back to my 3d view you'll see it's placed my rio from one wall to where the wall finished or where the wall would have been had it been a single complete view, right? Not a split object. So let's delete that. Let's go back to our section. So we change our section view to show it as parts instead, okay? Go to place my reinforcing, and this time I'm gonna go say three, and I'm going to choose to um, place the um, Rio in, in here, and let's go and say fix bars, and we'll go three, okay? 
You can see if I go close to one edge, it tries to draw three bars in that direction. If I go this way, it tries to draw the bars in this direction. You can see as I move closer to the, to the cover, the bars stop. They don't let me go any further. But when I pick and place the bar, go back to my 3D view, you'll notice that the Rio is now for the length of only that part. So making sure that your part visibility for either your 3D view or your section view in this case, okay, is set to parts. Because if it's not, when you're selecting to place the Rio, you're placing the Rio in the original wall, which is obviously not split. Okay, I hope that makes sense.